<laughs> nope, none of that. Yeah, you go get your food and snack, Captain. You do what you do. They got crackers. I should eat these. for some good crackers. What was I doing? Why was I standing here? Lost child. What is this? Why? I don't remember. I got to do my question. Yay!
Hold on, I just want to make sure. Is Valerie actually just stuck in the ground or is she out of the ground now? These crackers are great. No! No! Hello. Wiggles, you want this cracker? Oh, that's new. Yeah, you can have that cracker. I don't care. I dropped it. It's on the floor. It's dirty now. continue with this group. Or do we trade out some people? I think we're okay. Okay, so, the plan for this stream is to actually continue the main storyline. What is this? Oh, whatever. So, the main storyline is over here. So, I guess we're going to go to the main storyline. A merchant. Let's go help. Oh, was that the last cracker? Damn it, that was the last cracker. I'm so upset now. Welcome back, Captain. Oh, you gave Pie Silent Hill DLC? For de Dead by Daylight? Oh, that's sweet of you. Well, I hope that your gifts you Yeah, I hope that your gifts make you happy, Captain. I hope we, we enjoyed the gift. Huh. Summon the wolves. Well, what's with you? You want to hold my hand? You want to be held? This dog. This dog is dog. Can't make it to them in one turn, so we're just going to kind of come over here. Now, as for Lindsay, Lindsay, as for Lindsay, she's just going to, actually, that's a full round action? Okay. Serves you right. Yeah, just move up. Then. Fair enough. 
fair word for me for a, te uh, a bit. Nah, it's okay. Like, I'll be fine. Again, it, it's like... I already know what, what my issue is. It's more of a matter of just like... Getting it out there and, and you know... It's more of a matter of just getting getting it out there and understanding that like I'm harder on myself than other people are. You know? Like for me I always have the issue of like oh hey, I sucked at this and therefore everyone else thinks I suck. But in reality most people don't care. And that's just something I gotta get into my head. I got these poppers and dang yeah. God, that was on the lips, you asshole. Your fucking ah. Uh, your tongue's probably been on your ass. Don't do that. Don't do that. Hi, Meerkat. How's it going, dude? God, don't do that with us. You're, you're, uh, I fucking no. I love you. I love you. You're such a good fucker. I am new color, and I am falling out with the streamer. What the streamer do? I hope the streamer isn't me. I just started talking with you today. I hope I didn't fuck up already. Yeah, no, exactly, Captain. That is a huge issue for me. Like, other people help to put things into perspective for me, but I have an issue of reaching out to people in order for them to be like, hey, listen, that's not as big of a deal as it actually is. I kind of have to, you know, like, sort of figure things out. 20 damage. Pretty respectable. Haha, <laughs> get fucked, nerd. You fucking suck. Take that. Fire damage. Fire nunchaku! It's okay though. Yeah, so so Mia Cat, what's going on? Why are people mad at you? You deserved it. Any last wishes? Oh whoops, we don't have our bow equipped. That's what's going on. Also that dude managed to kill the, the troll. Oh, that's another troll! This one's branded! I don't know what that means, but holy fuck! You, sir, can go F yourself! Please aid me. Firebomb. Take that. Whoa! Zero... F How much what? 18 fire reduced to zero? Am I to understand this fucking troll has resistance fire 20? Am I to understand that? Holy shit. I reached out to Yi and Snizzle to see more of a potential incident. Like. Nah, I get you, Captain. I get you. Like, you know. We all we all got our in the demons. And we all gotta deal with them in our own way. At least I hope they're in their demons. We should rage. Okay, one hit. Uh, and it's pretty close to dead. Nice, Harem got it. Hey, you borrow mine for Friday? For what reason? Hi, Pyra! Duke had his own fireball spell tonight. I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> 
Fireball whiskey. Fucking, it's it's some brutal stuff. Like it, it it's it's pretty hot. Ooh, there's a little bit left in there. Do I do I be disgusting and drink it? Nah, it's fine. It's it, it's like not even a sip. But yeah, no, it 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 tastes of cinnamon and it's pretty strong. And I like it. So we're gonna grow a miri. These doggos will. Or Wolfos will go ahead and gank it via hole. Tyra, how was your day? What did you do? Tell me. Did you uh, eat a sand? Did you uh, eat a, a sandwich? Did you eat? I should really move away. That's what I should do. I should move. Is this thing scary? You, you, me. Tastes of Sinman. Tastes of Sinman. Sinman is the windman. Frank came over. I told him to knock and he did and scared Lucy. Hide the bomb! The bomb! How was you? What are you up to? You ate a pasta sin? Celebrated Doggo's birthday? And decorated for Christmas? Hero de bomb? Question marks? Well, I got you, Pyra. I hope. Well, it sounds like you had a pretty fucking solid day. I'm happy to hear that. Fucking guys, Pyra's a chill person. Py Pyra's fucking chill. That's all you need to know. They go down! Take that, 37 damage. Also, is the sound quiet? Did I turn down the sound? I didn't. Okay. Go ahead and get up on its hindsight. Are you feeling better, Dick? I feel great. Fucking like alcohol sometimes is like I definitely do think that alcohol is a fucking is absolutely a drug and it does terrible things to people, but sometimes it's just what you need. Sometimes it's just, sometimes it's great to self-medicate, you know? Like, I never was really a big fan of, uh, of, like, when I was younger, when I was in middle school, I went to a therapist, and they prescribed me medication. I took that medication for maybe a week before I decided, you know what, I don't like what this is doing to me. Because it, it, it didn't really, like, make me happy, it just made me feel nothing. And I was still in bed a lot, and I went, I don't really like this. So I stopped taking it, and, uh, like, it at least evened me out enough to go, I feel better now. And sometimes that's kind of what you just need. You just need something to kind of even you out. Um, for me, however, the reason why I, I like drinking whenever I'm feeling depressed is because it opens me up to actually talk about whatever it is that's bothering me rather than just letting it haunt me. I <laughs> still so trying to spread cheer. People will say we're calling Merry Christmas on the 29th and 30th. A true sin if there ever it was one. My sling door went off track and I told them, oh no, this sound. <laughs> You're safe indoors playing games, so drinking isn't that bad. Ayy. Yeah, as long as you don't drink and drive, and as long as you don't let it affect your, like, professional life, I think you're fine. You know, which, um, I basically just took today in order to focus on me? I slept in until, like, 4 p.m. and that's fucking unhealthy so you know once you sleep in until like 
far past when you normally get out of bed, I think that's time for you to say, hey, this is a me day. That's my thoughts. An elderly half elf stands before you. His sun bleached hair reveal him as a seasoned traveler, and the confidence with which he holds his bow reveals him to be a seasoned warrior, and his cart full of various items. It seems a traitor as well. Damn trolls! Almost died from the stink alone. <sighs> Almost had me. Since when are trolls not afraid of fire? Good thing I had a few flasks of acid among my goods. Thank you for your timely rescue, friend. A few moments more, and I would have... <sighs> Whoever this land gives little care to its safety. Formerly safe trade roads are given over to trolls, and not a god to be seen. But where are my manners? I am Dalton from Mivon, a merchant by trade. Who are you? We are simply travelers from Bravoy. What? You are the Baron of these lands. Have you renounced your throne? Have you renounced your sins? The title was supposed to remain a secret. Oh. Oh. I unused... I am unused to lies. They are just wrong. But yes, I knew it was a secret. We all did. Yes? Just, just close your mouth. Oh, I beg your forgiveness, my grace. But these trolls, they're a threat to everyone. They've attacked several villages, destroyed several bridges, and are scouting away trade caravans. Worse than bandits by far. Oh. If your grace is willing to resolve the matter, I know a mage living nearby. I visit him from time to time to sell him reagents for his spells. He's an expert on trolls. Might know why they've suddenly become bolder. And fireproof. Can also hit people's health and mental state. Oh, and guys, shall we? Sometimes it just be like that, Meerkit. Sometimes your like mental state is just like, yeah, let's do this, and sometimes it's like, I just want to not. And there's nothing wrong with that. But I do think that if your mental state ends up in exactly like one way for like one unusual way for far too long, you need to like look into that. Nah, that's fair, Meerkat. Oh, this would be easier because you aren't revealing your face. Dude. Well, I missed nothing. This guy's just like, hey, why are there trolls on the road? And we're just like, yeah. Uh, with, with, with the king or the baron. Like, so, you know, I don't know what he wants to do. And he's like, oh, okay, well, I know of a mage. And that's it. That's all you miss, Captain. I can see you're an experienced trader, which you consider operating exclusively in my barony. I... Don't get me wrong, Your Grace, but I've a family in Bravoy, so my road always must take me there, no matter how dangerous the journey. Hmm... Hmm... Plus ten, plus ten. The roads are unsafe. I would suggest you go no further than the capital and wait until the roads can be garrisoned properly. There's still plenty of trade to be had elsewhere in the region. Yay! If things are that bad, well then perhaps I shall conduct my business here for a time. Very well. 
Tell me about this mage. Bartholomew is his name. He's not bad for a human. Always so polite, so respectful, and there's something odd about him. He lives alone in the middle of the woods, his house surrounded by traps with a single safe road leading to it. No bandits nor trolls scare him. Alright, he'll change his mind. There's a barrier over text versus face to face. Ah. Yeah. Yeah, I can see that. Fire, do you have a harder time opening up to a person via text than you do face to face? Ow. And the way he looks at you, it's like he's examining you. Like he's considering to crack you open to see what's inside. The chills. Any other dangers on the road? Trolls aren't enough, huh? Mm. Actually, I have heard a disturbing rumor. It said a hot egg has made a lair in a cave some uh, south of here. Whether true or not, traders are taking no chances, taking forest routes instead. Let me mark the caves on your map. Well, I've never fought a hot dog yet. You're from Mavon, yeah, you say? What is y their view on this new barony? Long ago, Mavon was founded by the Sword Lords, who refused to bow before the new ruler and fled Brevoy. Well, not Brevins anymore. Our people and the people here have a lot in common. As I've heard, the barony here was founded by people from Restov. We look upon them as distant cousins, I suppose. Welcome cousins, that is. Not family you'd rather forget. Good fortune to you and safe travels. Hold a moment. I didn't have a chance to reward you for your help. Fortunes are best shared, after all. Safe travels. Yay. One of my neighbors has a fucking rooster, and it's always like cacawing at this time. It's like, you little shit, you shut the fuck up. The sunrise has not happened yet. There is no reason to go, oh, 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 right now. Fucking asshole. Damn rooster. Yeah, you get it, Pyra. You get it. Hi, Jester Darkhire. How's it going? I more think it's the subject I'd be talking about. Like, I haven't told my parents some personal issues I've gone through. Well, I've only recently told friends. It's good. I gotcha. Well... I, I always throw out this offer, whether you take it up or not, that if you ever need to talk, feel free to message me. Uh, yeah. Yeah. When, when, once you start making me, me your therapist, though, that's when I gotta pull a, a, a hard stop. It was modding Hollow Knight? Shit, what mods are you putting on? What mods you putting on? Whoa, whoa, a scroll of cure light wounds. Look at that. Have you ever seen such a thing? Yeah, <laughs> they got chests just ripe for this pickings. Yeah, a bunch of milk and butter. Fallen tree is barring the wagon's way. Well, then, that's the all's problem. Is one of the places you look to. I got you, me cat. You get three hits only. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, clever devil, you. <laughs> if you're shaking instant death. Holy shit, Pyro, that's a dark joke. I fucking laugh at it, but that's a dark joke. <laughs> 
have a fear of keeping it going because privacy breach reason. I mean, I think the primary reason for a journal is not so much for the journal's sake as it is the thought's sake. You know, it allows you to sort of voice your thoughts in a way that you normally don't. But because being stuck in your own head doesn't allow you to really think about what you are doing or saying. So, having a journal or talking to someone that, uh, honestly, just talking out loud can have the same effects of, as a journal. You know, like, you could just kind of stand in your room or, like, look in the mirror and just kind of talk about whatever's bothering you. You don't necessarily need a journal, you just need to get your thoughts and emotions out there. Yeah! There was a pillow behind me. I will consult my rubber ducky. You get it. Did you know there's an actual tactic called rubber ducky debugging? The programmers verbally explain a broken code to a rubber duck in hopes of finding the solution by describing the problem. You get it. And that rubber ducky could be your own personal therapist as well. See? It all works out. Looks like these bandits died after triggering a trap. Well! I'll keep my eyes open. I believe I found something. For traps. Ah, plus one bastard sword. Watch off. I know a bastard sword when I see one. You know that kind of makes sense. Yeah. Done with waiting. Another died loot him. You get me, Pyra. You get me. me. Whoa. I see How's it going, Wayne? How's it going? What what's going on here? Tell me. A barefoot young man in tired clothes stands before you. His eyes dart about wildly, and his matted hair sticks up in dirty spikes. Help! Help! The young man yells, even though you're right in front of him. Stop ye- <laughs> What's wrong with you? What happened? <laughs> Help! <sighs> I am oh, Wayne. He is mad in the head. Let him rot. He and his senses have definitely parted ways. And we have too many halfwits in our little band already. I'm afraid our med madcap inn has no room for another. Mirf. <laughs> Simply turns away from a mirror, he's seemingly unfazed by my scene. He freezes, stunned, then spits on the ground, turns away yourself. So, Wayne, what happened? I like your other name now. No, I think Miss Pyra suits you, Pyra. Hi, Zara. How's it going? And Pyra, I, I, I remember seeing that you've been playing more Armello recently. Yep. Traitors. We, we're traitors. Luxon and me, we... Oh, my goodness. We, we usually come to visit the local mage, bring him food, and he gives us magic trinkets in exchange. We last came a month ago, left him some supplies. We were riding back today when and we were wanted to stop and pick up an order he promised to complete. Well Lexin stayed to guard the guards while I went to the mage's house. You struggled tonight, didn't win at all, Pyra. It'd be like that. This mage has a bunch of traps around his house. Scares off the trolls, you see. He even put a warning sign up by the road, so people wouldn't get hurt. You just have to stick to the road. Trolls are stupid, can't read, so they get caught. But I didn't stick to the road. Thought I saw something glittering in the underbrush. So as I approached, BOOM! Suddenly I was flying upside down. <laughs> when I landed, I was too scared to move. So many traps around. I would survive a second BOOM. 
Cowards. Oh, whoops. Cowards like this make me sick. He shit himself at the sight of a rabbit. Judging by this discoloration of his pants, I'd say he spots rabbits regularly. <laughs> yeah. Why your booch? Boom. So how long have you been standing there? Four hours, maybe more. Wait, you've been standing here screaming in fear for four hours? If, because there might be traps around you? So, do you want to get back to the road? <laughs> Enough sniveling. One hit from me will fix him. We should leave him. He was surely fated to die by this trap. It would be wrong of us to prevent this man from reaching the end of his path. That is a bot. You get out of here. You're not welcome. Bad bot. Fet. Bun buns are evil. Are you. Do you fear bun buns? How about this? You head toward the road and I follow. You falter, I'll kick you so hard you make it the re uh, the rest of the way airborne. Wayne contemplates your words for a moment before a new fear fa uh, falls across his face. But this time, instead of freezing in place, he begins sprinting toward the road. If it works, it works, am I right? If it works, it works. Let's go out. Claws, you get please. it. Jester, how was your day? What wonderful thing. Oh, yawn. Did you get up to today? Did you up? Anything else? Eat? Did you up? No stopping now. It's neat. Whoa, those are barbarians. Let's go to Miri and see what happens. Once a girl told me my eyes light up her world. Oh, wow, we barely missed that, damn we? will light up her soul. She seemed disappointed. Here I Applause, am. please. See. We'll do it the hard way. Oh, there's a few of them there. That's fine. Going to the doctor tomorrow and Thursday? Well, I wish you the best. Sneak when you sneeze out a beat. Sneeze the beat. Yes. Repent. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, what happened to the spell that was up here? Bam. Use it. Seven damage, get fucked, nerd. Nyash. Nyash. Pirate, let, <laughs> let's say you could make a living as like one of those anime cat girls. Would you take up the offer? 
Like, you won't be, like, rich or anything, but you can make a living off of it. Would you do it? Longa Punk Man is on Thursday. I wish you the best, Jester. That would be great. If they managed to, like, find a way to, like, help with that. Have horrible GERD and those pills keep me out of the ER. Oofles. Oofles McScoofles. I'm so sorry. That is awful. There's a statue of a thingy. Of a trollodite. Game. Game. Okay, there we go. If no one gets stalkery about it, I'm not about Nyai. <laughs> My way to a comfy life. I got a killer oo-woo voice after all. I haven't heard it, Pyra. I haven't heard it. You know they would get stalkery. Yeah. Unless I'd be a VTuber. Pyro, you'd probably make a good VTuber. I was actually thinking about being a, becoming a VTuber in the uh, shower the other day. But it wouldn't be like like a cute anime girl. What I'd want to do is I would want to get someone to like make a VTube of like Trump. And then just do be like my Trump impression. Just like, a Mary right here. She's an amazing barbarian. She does such wonderful things. She hits those criticals very often. Does upwards of a hundred damage. It's true. She's so good. And we love her for that. She's so good at what she does. <laughs> Except right there. Mary, you failed us. Uh, Mary, you're such a go- You're so garbage. You're terrible at what you do. The water Eidolon does so much better than you. I have to say. I'm so, so utterly disappointed in you. Who's gonna say be a well mustache and must and or mutton, uh, mutton chopped bara? I mean, that also works. Not wrong. You know, I've humored the idea that someone donated a thousand or what dollars for full VR Hollow Live set with a voice changer for me stream as an anime girl. And how I'd regret every moment of it and might hear me voice in the moment. What was it? Apparently there is like, like super ugly, uh, uh, anime men VTubers and I always just thought, that's pretty funny. Like, I really hope that there are women that are like, that set up VTubes that are just like, horrendously ugly anime men. It's like, that's, that's a wonderful idea. I, I'd watch that. Uno momento. Yeah. Are you grabbing the meme? Cause I know the meme. I know the meme. Your life ebbs low. Ah, we miss. I've genuinely debated getting into ASMR, those are peers, get crazy views. It's a weird, like, I think one of the things that makes me simultaneously sad and laugh at the same time is those, um, uh, those neurologist patients who have to do, uh, a, um, cranial nerve exam. They have to do a full run-through of cranial nerve exams. In reality, they should only end up with, like, a hundred views. Like, not even. They should end up with, like, t like 
maybe 10 views, you know, so that their professor can, like, look at it, go, okay, you passed, and done. But, like, then thousands of ASMR addicts and uh, doctor addicts and foot fetishists end up jumping onto it, and they're like, yeah, yeah, this is exactly what I need tonight in order to relax today. And then, you know, the foot fetishists are like, oh, yeah, look at those feet. I love it whenever they test out nerve number nine. Yeah, and they do that, uh, and, and they scrape that girl's feet, just, fuck! <laughs> you know? Like, none of them signed up for that. None of them wanted that. It just happened. They didn't want it. Yeah, you know, can you imagine you set up this YouTube account and upload one video, just one video, to pass your fucking exam and then you get all of these like weirdos in your chat that are like yeah yeah no nah, this is some good asmr you you got a nice calming voice and then like other people that are like oh man those are some pretty fucking sweet feet it's like oh my god people love ruining things the thing is i'm pretty sure these people aren't like I, I don't think that they're self-aware enough to realize that it's creepy. I think they're just like, oh yeah, I got my ASMR fix. Like, I don't care. I don't care what happens after Do that. Oofles yeah! miss goofles. We missed. Go ahead and do the map. Yeah, either they know exactly what they're doing or they don't know what they're doing. There is no in between. Y exactly, Pyra. Exactly. Let's see this guy. Yep, that's exactly what I was thinking of, Captain. He's California. He's fucking this bomb. Explosive bomb. Ah! Yeah. Rock on. Of course, it's my room. Guys, how would you feel? How would you feel if one day you woke up and everybody was crab people? How would you feel? What would you do? Like, you're also a crab person, so it's not like you would stand out in a crowd, but like, you know, last night you were a normal human, and then you woke up and everyone's crab people. What would you do? What a waste. <laughs> that dude got fucked for 41 damage. He deserved it. Also, that wolf deserved it. Eat crab? Become a cannibal, you mean? That's fair. I think many people, given that situation, realizing that they weren't a crab before, would become a cannibal. Also, my Eidolon. Let's see if I'm consciously me. That's fair. You die because you're allergic? Oofles. Absolute oofles. Yeah. Tear them apart! 35 and 30 damage. That's good stuff. You deserved it. Nine damage, it's something. What crab is cannibal? Is that what I miss me your cat? Are you saying crabs are cannibals? Because if so, that's pretty fucking wicked. I remember watching on YouTube, they have all of the, like, all of the, like, Discovery Channel stuff and all the stuff you can watch and it will put in a cat. Oh, okay, I didn't read that. I missed it. I'm sorry, man, cat. No, Canalbe, a play on words. 
Um, but yeah, no, on... <laughs> Um, so yeah, it's like on YouTube, you can find all of these Discovery Channel stuff and like all of this animal stuff. You can learn about animals, and it's great. And I remember watching one video late in the night, and uh, it's these dudes, and they have fucking like PTSD looks on their face, and they're like, those apes, th those chimpanzees reached a form of hatred we had never seen before. And I was like, what What the fuck? And it, w and it was like showing videos from these apes and the, the this is an ape, like, or, or a chimpanzee group in Africa that is slowly being expanding. And basically they're the most like ruthless like fucked up chimpanzee group or, or, or horde or herd or whatever that has ever existed. And, like, it, it, it has, like, one video of them just, like, ripping apart a chimpanzee from another, uh, another group and eating them. And it's like, what the fuck? And these people have PTSD looks on their face, and I'm like, oh my god. What is going on? Ah, crap, Rave, that's good shit. And, uh, I think that was the moment I realized that I don't ever want to interact with chimpanzees ever like i had heard the stories of like that one chimpanzee that was raised by this woman and you know she she gave him um she she gave this chimpanzee um what was it um melatonin to calm him down and um and it caused the exact opposite reaction. And he ended up ripping off the neighbor's face. And it was like, oh my god. What the fuck? You know, and it, it forced... It, it forced the uh, the company that makes melatonin to... Um, uh, or Xanax. Sorry, it was Xanax. It forced the company that makes Xanax to add a, uh, add a warning label onto uh, their pills. Stating that... Uh, uh, warning may cause chimpanzees to go ape shit, and it's awful. It's a terrible thing. It's hilarious, but extremely awful. Nah, like, <laughs> what the fuck is going on with that guy's body? I saw that. You can't hide that from me. I saw it. It's a heavy shield, but it's giving a plus four. Mm. Mm. Yeah, but a woman's face was ripped off. I, you're halfway in the ground. I saw you. You can't hide from me. But yeah, chimpanzees are fucking terrifying. You want to know what a magnificent, wonderful animal is? Or orangutans. Orangutans don't give a fuck. They get fat and they sit around laying their, their, their fucking orangutan tits just like flop all over the place and they're like I want to be like you <laughs> like they're the chillest fucking uh like homo sapiens of all time I love them I tire like waiting. you can watch videos of them online and they're like they, they they're smart enough to like have trade they're like you know you'll see them in the zoos and the guy will be like yo do you want this and he'll just hold out his hand and be like Go shoot that shit over here, and you throw it to them, and they're like, hell yeah. And then they'll, like, throw a banana back. It's like, fuck yeah. This thing's great.
Oh, that sucks, Meerkat. Okay, it's untrained. <laughs> the statue of a troll you realize is a rock troll cut in direct sunlight and turned to stone. Is that actually a thing in Pathfinder? What you look Fire, you play Pathfinder? Do trolls getting caught in direct sunlight turn to stone in Pathfinder? Because they don't in, in 5e. I'm positive I found something. Disable it. Disable it. Anything else? Also, can you like come over here and just uh, give us this quick boon? This quick bufferoni? Beautiful. Stone is covered with soot. Mm. I see something. Applause, please. The fuck? And yeah, let's explore the rest of this place first. We can do that. It's not that it big. Is done. You made your bed? Fuck yeah. I made my bed last night. Because it was really dirty. Cozy house stands away from the main road. An excellent place for a hermit. Applause, please. There's no gate. The owner of this place doesn't seem to be afraid of intruders. If you give Follow me a ride, me. I'll either have sex with you or clean your house. Well, it's six to be you because my house is really dirty. And I have gonorrhea. Bartholomew Delgado. How goes it? A middle aged man stands before you. His clothes are. Oh my god, this man has a mutton stash! Guys, this guy has a mutton stash! Fuck yeah! Fucking three whoops in chat. For Bartholomew, who has a mutton stash. Only three, though. Only three whoops allowed. Does Hollow Knight give me PTSD? No, not at all. It, it honestly wasn't as difficult as, like, a lot of people have gone on about. It was a pretty, like, a pretty chill game. You want to know what I should do? I should grab some water. That's what I should do. I should grab some water. I'll be right back. Guys, I got water directly from the Niagara, according to this label. I'm hardly drunk anymore, Zara, and it makes me sad. I'm pretty damn tipsy, though. Can I see the label? Sure. Niagara. Niagara. Viagra. Oh shit. <laughs> oh no, not again. This is the second time I've accidentally taken Viagra. Middle aged man stands before you. Radio Sorico. We could do that. His clothes are too gaudy but tasteful. Despite living in the wilderness, he looks well groomed, even dapper. His mustache is slick, and the nails on. Agile soft hands are meticulously polished. What a pleasant surprise. Uh, welcome, Your Grace. Would you like a cup of tea? Something stronger, perhaps? It's a great honor for humble hermits entertaining such an important personage. 
Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Bartholomew Delgado. At your service. How may I be of assistance? If your dick is harder than this water for longer than four hours. Oh no. You want to see what I've done so far to my cloak? Sure. Do you know about their local trolls who are resistant to fire? I've never heard of anything like it. If this is true, I'll have to revise my defenses. Hmm. Your Grace, I'm afraid we must inter... Intermit that conversation for now. A moment ago, a troll was caught in one of, the fi of my fire traps and was unharmed. I suggest that a chance to explore its corpse would better equip me to answer your questions. My liege, I humbly request your protection. Please, follow me. Lead the way. And then our leader charged forwards. Uh, hey, wait for me. Yeah, I'm offering him. Updated Chillax. Chillax the Max Brex is Max and Chex. Acid Bomb! Take that 14 damage. Get fucked, nerd. Summon the wolves. We got two. I should be going immediately after the wolves. That's weird. I just summoned them. Take that two damage. Get fucked, nerd. I was just in control as fire. Really? You decide to shield instead of dealing damage? Okay. Any last wishes? Five and five, that's ten damage. I'll take it. Twenty-five damage. 13 damage reduced. It's pretty damn resistant to fire, huh? How resistant to fire are you? Ooh. Energy resistance, acid, and fire. How big of their energy resistance? Is it 10? No, oh, because we rolled 18 fire damage that one time. Pyra! 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 Do trolls turn to stone in the daylight? It said fire resistance 96, did it? Where? Oh, there it is. Yep, fire resistance 96. Well, shit. You right. Yes, they do. Okay. Fire, what's your favorite mystological creature? Hey, we did it. Oh, then you cast Major Armor. You did do shit, Bartholomew. You did do shit. I say mine, the Rainbow Crow. Actually, yeah, all of you are allowed to say your favorite mythical creature, but only this one, so take it up while you can. The Rainbow Crow. The Rainbow Crow! But I mean, walks around the top. At least they're still vulnerable to steel and acid. Now let's look into why this creature lost its respect for fire. Whatever that is, that's the reason his flesh didn't burn. It's a brand on the chest. Alas, I recognize this cursed symbol. This is the hammer of Torek, a god neglectful of even his most devoted followers. I know why I don't know why his hammer 
is decorated with thorns, but suits the treacherous god well. Mm, I must study this. Here's the key to my laboratory. Wait for me there. I'll join you soon enough. Enjoy Quetzcatls. Mm, chimeras in Dulahan. Damn, Miss Pyra, fucking, you're bringing out all of the non classics. I don't know with D&Ds that I'm not a big fan of the Fae. I honest to god hate the Fae. Like fucking fairies, sprites and whatnot, I'm just like fucking get rid of them. I love fiends, I love undead. Fucking... I absolutely hate Fae. Nymphs? Fair. One of my prized possessions is a book of all mythos creatures, I love it. What's this? Hmm. This is adorable. What's the What's the book called? What's Yeah. What's the book called, Miss Pyra? Oh, hello there. I didn't see you guys. How's it going? We're gonna kill you. Three damage, beautiful. Will they ever learn? Ten damage, I'll take it. Bring it! Yay! A Lempton Encyclopedia Magical Creatures? Hmm. Yeah, the reason why they don't go more alien, Captain, is because aberrations take up the alien side. Like, yeah, if it's not from our planet, it's basically going to be listed as an aberration. I'm also just not a big fan of, like, trickster creatures. Like, they're, they're more of an annoyance than anything. This is where I step in. Like, whenever I'm running a D and D encounter, the last thing I want is for a creature that is more focused on fucking with the uh, players than actually, like, you know, trying to kill them. It's like it, it loses all of its enjoyment very quickly. Has to work. Nope. Okay. What's you new? Just Magritte, Damn, we're good. Quick save. Quick, quick save. Quick save. Maybe make him an enigma. His depictions of fae like creatures and whatnot in IRL mythology. There's still shit you don't want to deal with. I mean, fucking, like, I love hags. Green hags. Uh, water hags. There's a couple of other hags that were added by, um... It was either Morgan Kanan's Tome or Volo's Guide to Everything. It's one of those two, but... I like the hags, you know, fey or not, no, like, you know... Now. The Night Hag is the most uh, used one in all of the D&D modules, though. And they're fiends. So go figure. I'm listening. You kill. Uh, a fatal mistake. Don't remember the lesson, Captain. 
It's been a little while since I last played uh, anything Witcher or assumed anything Witcher. I, I, I actually watched all of the series. I thought the series for The Witcher was okay. I think it was like super amazing, but I thought it was pretty damn good. You forced my hand. cool and creepy a living tree that grabs and consumes so is it like that one tree from the hellabenders yeah the the little animation that chris and zach made no it's not it's not at all this thing's awful oh no yeah no that's something i'd absolutely love to use that like, what was it? I don't, I, I remember uh, getting the, um, Cobalt Press's Creature Codex, and they have a lot more fey, uh, but, and, you know, like, I was kind of disappointed, because fey in both 5e and for the Cobalt Press are very human-looking. It's like, oh, hey, they're human, except they're not. And it's like, nah. Looks a lot like a Wendigo, very interesting. It is pretty interesting. I got a Wendigo thing. No, I'm doing. From Over the Garden Wall? Yeah. I still haven't watched From Over the Garden Wall. I really want to, though. though. It's on my watch list. It looks really good. Oh my god! That person got fucked! Maybe it's very similar to a lesson. Isn't there like there's like a whole YouTube like horror animated you or horror universe or something that uh, that deals with things like that. I don't remember what it's called, but there's like a YouTube horror universe. Um, and it's where that one, I can look it up actually, yeah. You want to watch it after watching a clip of it? Yeah. It looks interesting. I can't find time. I've been fucking. I've not been allowing enough personal time for myself. Well, is there to play your Dex modify? But they have more strength, so there's not much of a reason to equip this. I don't think. Ew. Yeah, no, no one I have here uses decks and also fists. So we just, well. A Wander Fireball. That's a pretty good uh, <laughs> wand. <laughs> Turquoise brooch. Amulet of natural armor. I could wear it. I could wear it. I could also not. You don't gain any benefit from it. Um, you're not on the front line. You're on the front line. Bam. There you go. And when that benefits from a plus one, I guess you do. Uh, but I, I mean, yeah. No, uh, that's that's fine. You can go with that. Protector of unjust. 
plus two heavy shield gives wielder plus two resistance bonus on saving throws. Both its AC and saving throw bonus increases by two against spells, abilities, and attacks by good or lawful outsiders. Right, in Pathfinder, they're not aberrations, they're out, they are outsiders. <laughs> Fuck that pyra. There, there's a uh, there's a, a movie, one of those like, you know, basically indie sci-fi movies. Uh, I forget what it's called, but the entire premise is basically like four dudes go uh, go on a hike. One of them injures their ankle, and the, and so they try to uh, find a quick way back. To civilization and um, ba basically there's like an uh, there, there's like a fucking deer god in the uh, in the forest that they are going through and uh, he just like slowly starts killing them off it it wasn't really scary but like there there was one scene that there was one thing in that movie that creeped the fuck out of me and there is and it is that there is a wooden effigy. Uh, there is a wooden effigy that is a man-sized. You know, it is a man-sized wooden effigy with like antlers for arms, and without a head. And I remember seeing that. I went, "Fuck no!" I know if I saw that shit, I'd be goddamn killing myself before anything bad happened. You know, for a fact, if you see a goddamn wooden effigy that is man-sized, that you're gonna die. Like, that's all there is to it. That shit is not something you fuck around with. What do we have here? Anything else? I failed. I I'm sorry. Okay. Fire Witch got nothing not on that shit. Day. Blair Witch was like, a boss, please. What? What was the? I mean, the original Blair Witch was pretty solid for its time. Honestly, I'm sorry. Honestly, it's pretty solid for like current day and age. But then they made the remake, and they were like, "This is what the witch does to you if she catches you, and you turn into like a fucking Slenderman Check monster thing." It's really funny. I remember seeing that thing I, and everyone was like, Oh my god, that's the witch! And I went, <laughs> The witch is a fucking Wendigo. It was my take on it. I'm positive I found something! Applause, please. It is done. I mean, to completely change the rules for Faye would be like way too over the top. Um, like I, I just don't think D and D can really do Faye. Well, DMs can do Faye well. DMs can do Faye well. Uh, you know, but that's in terms of role playing. But in terms of mechanics, I don't think that D and D quite. Yeah. At least 5e doesn't portray Faye very well. Pathfinder portrays them pretty good. I mean, Pathfinder has fucking tooth fairies that quite literally rip out your teeth. Oh, Pyro, you talk about the Slenderman movie? That thing was, uh, pretty funny. It was pretty funny. It wasn't great at all. It was the worst thing I've ever seen, but it was pretty bad. An idea of an eldritch fave from Rack of Thousand Pierce Bear, Volibear. Volibear? 
But, I mean, looking at that art alone, Captain, doesn't really, like, feel Fae-esque. It looks like... Honestly, if I looked at that thing, I'd immediately think either undead or fiend. It doesn't look like an elf. It, it, it... Yeah, it doesn't quite give off those Fae vibes. Because Fae vibes look like something from nature. It makes sense for them to look pseudo-human. Or, you know, or pseudo-animal. You know, but I think, uh... Yeah, I think there is a point where they kind of, um... Mixed lines. Not the most re recent one. I can't even remember the time of it. I think it just went straight to DVD. It was good because it was mostly about the people making Slender Man real. But then maybe he's real at the end. I remember, um... There, there's a game that I played on stream quite a while ago. I played this in my spare time too. And it's a game called Neo Scavenger. And basically the entire premise of it is... Uh... The world had a, uh... Had an apocalypse, and you awaken from a cryo sleep, and uh, you know you explore the world. Now, a hidden or a sort of side story that is going on is basically everything within the world were brought into existence by people's belief, and uh, I. This is forever haunting me. There is an instance in Neo Scavenger if you're just following the main plot line. Where you go into a house, an abandoned house in the middle of a swamp, in order to retrieve something. And just the way it is written is terrifying. Because it makes you think that even if there isn't something there, something is there. And it's fucking horrific. Seriously, if you've never played Neo Scavenger, I highly recommend it. It is such an amazing game. It doesn't what require do very it, it doesn't require much at all. It's a great game, it's fun. Uh, you know, like you're gonna die a few dozen times before you finally get like that one good run. Okay, we just got fireball, that's fine. Share your trouble. Um But yeah, it's a great game. And uh yeah, the writing for it. It's top notch. It's top notch. What we just get? Bracers of archery. We can use any bow and we get a plus two competence bonus. And plus one on damage. Ooh, delicious. I want to think through it more. Yeah. Go for it. Go for it. When I saw it, Neo Scavenger. Yeah, no, it is a, it, it's a great game. I will recommend it to anybody. And you, you stop, Wiggle, stop scratching my foot. No. Yeah, I, I can adequately recommend Neo Scavenger to anybody. But in all honesty, I, I'd, I'd recommend any. Any game that Seth Zintek <laughs> recommends, I will highly recommend. I love video games that completely sacrifice out on, like, graphics or uh, video for the sheer focus on detail. Like, if you give me a game that allows me to, uh... That allows me to run a civilization of, like drunken psychotic barbarians uh and then like kind of create the story from there fuck yeah i'll do it you know like rim i fucking love rim world rim world's a great game i've been meaning to play more of it but i've just kind of been like meh lately also if i equip that then it's worthwhile for me to use the crossbow again because we'll have a plus one to damage and attack rolls, and that should be, we, we should be likely to hit more often. Should be. Uh, if we find ourselves being unable to hit things, then we can switch back to the acid splash. Whoa, this place is filled with items. Ooh. 
No stopping now. I don't know shit about Bartholomew's diary, but I'm taking it out of way. What's this? <laughs> Dimwit Borlebar. What's the difference between the Fae from Pathfinder to 5e? In theory, nothing. In theory, nothing. The real difference comes in their stat block. In 5e, Fey, for one, there aren't really a lot of Fey in 5e. They just didn't feature them as much. And the ones that there are, um, their stat blocks are too simplistic to adequately represent how like weird and complicated Fey are. That's really the only difference. Pathfinder allows for a lot more complication within their uh, I NPC sheets. NPC sheets in Pathfinder are basically just second character sheets. And because of that, um, Faye kind of suffer in that they aren't as com they don't have as many things and are not as complicated as they should be. Bored. Uh, Troll Singh in the cage is so thin you can see his ribs through the skin. Although you see no scars, his pelt is matted with dried blood, and his eyes are dulled and unfocused. Various knives, saws, and bloody manacles scattered about leave little doubt about what this troll has suffered. Borbaha. Kill me enough. It hurts. Yeah, Pathfinder loves to be complicated. I'm getting more into second edition and it is more simplified, but it at least it at least allows more complicated PCs. Um NPC, NPCs are eh. But like Pathfinder actual, you know, just normal Pathfinder, it's quite complicated. Nobody will fully understand the grapple rules, Pyra. You need a fucking spreadsheet for the grapple rules. You need a flowchart to understand grapple rules in Pathfinder. And any GM that has been running that game long enough to understand grapple rules without the flowchart are superheroes. It was simpler than I thought. This is just a simple spell of fire protection. Any competent wizard could cast it. The unusual element was the way the spell was applied. This wasn't cast by any human hand, though. No, no. The brand was stamped on with an artifact, which would make it possible to make trolls fire resistant in massive numbers. This is grave news for us all. My fire traps are useless now, and making acid traps will take time and resources. More importantly, for trolls to organize in such a way, there must be some greater intelligence operating behind the scenes. If that's the case, the list of potential targets for a force that formidable is a short one. I promise you a reward. So, please accept these acid ones. I'm afraid you may need them soon. Blah, 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 blah. 5e had a way to handle Fae to be more strange and appear more wild. What do you think that would be? Well, not in great detail unless you have to. Um, again, in terms of just written, you know, like, flavor text... Like, Fae are completely okay. The The real issue is just 5e stat blocks are way too simplistic. Whereas in traditional mythology, you might have something that can... Uh, you might have something that can, like, turn invisible. Uh, charm a person from miles away. Uh, can, you know, like blind someone 
in 5e typically they'll just take one of those aspects typically like invisibility in order to say yes we have this thing in the book it is simple there we go which i mean i i've seen some homebrewed shit where they really go all out like i've seen some complicated 5e stuff you can make npcs very complicated in D&D. &D. Uh, it's just... Wizards of the Coast decide to go about it a lot more simple. First, explain to me why this stroll is in, a ca in your cage. Oh yes, this is the greatest project of my career. I'm exploring the regenerative abilities of trolls in the hopes of passing them on to humans. Can you imagine the possibilities? Pain, senility, mutilations, even death itself. Defeated. Well, you were concerned I acquired the troll illicitly, were you? Don't worry, I purchased it legally. I'm not sure some poacher out roaming the barren woods. I don't care about your... Okay, like neutral. There we go. This is reprehensible. I don't care how you acquired the creature or tolerate such cruelty in my lance. Kill him. Quickly. And humanely. I have honor, damn it. What's the issue? This isn't a person. It's a mindless creature who's barely capable of stringing a few words together. You kill them without a second thought, but you would deny me the right to experiment on it for the sake of science? This is barbarism. Despotism. You have no... At once, your grace. There we go. He's dead. I mean, yeah, like, 5e's entire appeal is that it's a simple system, both for the DM and the players. Um, you know, and the trade-off is, like, the players can get a lot more complicated because they only have to look after themselves. Can you imagine if the DM had to deal with five character sheets? It would be awful. And, you know, just no. Just no. Uh, but, uh, yeah, 5e's entire appeal is that, hey, look, this is a simple system, wouldn't you agree? And it's like, yeah, that's a pretty simple system, I'll take it. I'll take a troll instead of a bot any day. At least trolls are clever and not just trying to sell shit. Also, Wiggles is looking up at me, she wants to go out. I'ma take Wiggles outside. I love making main baddies, cause I roll them up. <laughs> you actually just create a new character, Pyra. I mean, that is part, that absolutely was part of the appeal with uh, creating NPCs for um, for Pathfinder and 3.5, Star Wars D20. You know, just the D20 system uh, is what, you know, which was basically the 3.5 system. If you wanted an overpowered badass... You just created somebody that was like five or six levels above the party. Done. You did it. Then you wreck shop on everyone. That be also on that note, I miss uh, D20 Modern. D20 Modern was great. D20 Modern was just a wonderful system. I m I miss having a uh, a system where you just play and in modern times that was great okay i'm gonna take uh wiggles out real wiggles and nuno out real fast i'll be back
came back. Oh my goodness, Quincy, how's it going? Yeah, I was checking my dogs out. How? What's up, Quincy? Been a little bit. What's going on? Your cat is eating some cooked raw beer and cooked raw vodka. What? What? What is that? That's not food. That's just alcohol. That's drugs. That's drug. What? That's what? I understand. Yeah, that is a day. Me and Kat also want to party. I mean, that's fair. People are allowed to party. People are allowed to drink and have fun. It's a good time. It's a good time. It's a good time. Y you know, one great thing about having an audience is that whenever I'm, I leave, I, you know, I, th there are people here that could say, hey, uh, Duke, Duke left to go do something. I remember when I was small baby streamer, uh, and would leave. I would sometimes come back to people just being like, well, hello. Oh, there's no one here. Bye. And it's like, no, come back, please. It was small baby streamer, please. Hello, you. Uh, thank you. Uh, never run like that in my life. Now I see you scared me on purpose. Making run for my life to make it to the road. We found Lection. He's dead. Dead? That's awful. May Ferasma save his soul. What a horrible day. Don't be sad, friend. When fate deals you a blow, take it gladly. Your whole life is one road to the end, and each day is but another step along the way. But I can go I go on living if there's no sense in it. You could spread the word of Grotus. Help people understand the futility of existence. The sooner this agony of life ends, the sooner eternal tranquility will end, will come. Hey, how's it going, Lars Mandel? Is that how I say your name? Yeah, I've been enjoying Pathfinder. Like, I, I played Pathfinder, you know, in tabletop form several times before I truly got into this game. I played it before for in, uh, through the first act, but now I'm officially past that and I've I have no idea as to what I'm dealing with. Just in my own Pathfinder stream a wizard helped me battle a demon by summoning a horde of voracious Oh my god Squirrels and transforming it into a dragon. Pathfinder is great. No, like, I, I love fantasy, especially when you get to high fantasy in video games. Oh, man. Oh, God. 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 Arzmandel, thank you for the follow. Meerkat, go fuck yourself. Uh, <laughs> go fuck yourself for the raid. <laughs> I felt left out. No, that's fair. This so hoodie looks warm. It's a pretty warm hoodie. Um, I have been threatened by many a partner uh, saying that they would steal this specific hoodie because it looked warm. And I've told them all the same thing. No, because it's my only hoodie. It's my only zip up hoodie. I don't have any others. Love Dark Fantasy and Pathfinder has pretty much everything. 
Would I categorize Pathfinder as dark fantasy? I think whenever I think of dark fantasy, I think more along the lines of, um, of, uh, Warhammer. Because Warhammer is basically, or, or like early days D&D. Be because I remember reading the 3-5 uh, D&D book, Warhammer Straight Up Grimdark. Okay, I, I could see that. I, I remember reading three fives uh, uh, Dungeon Master's Guide. That that was it, and Player's Handbook. And basically, the premise of it was everywhere out, or the way that they explained it was: uh, imagine everywhere is darkness, and every settlement is a small glistening light within the darkness. And that w and that is Greyhawk. Greyhawk is. Everywhere outside of settlement sucks, so you just stay inside your settlement. You you take what the fuck is given to you and you accept it. Because fuck leaving. Warhammer is so dark it becomes comical. Quite literally with Warhammer, it's if you leave the settlement, you will find yourself in the middle. You will... <laughs> War Actually, come to think about it, Warhammer... Uh, lore is a lot like kinshi lore. If you leave, you will either be eaten alive, <laughs> enslaved, or in the middle of an already ongoing war between two other factions. Typically, the orcs and the, like, skaven. Yeah, tortured screams of a thousand souls. That's some good shit, man. Gandalimia Tower. Lizard Folk Village. Swamp Witch's Hut. I guess we can go down to these areas. I'm curious. Whoa! A random encounter that I can't skip. Orcs always bad. Orcs in, like, Warhammer 40k are fucking amazing, though, because their entire premise is that, uh, they can bring- they- they can cause things to just exist because they believe it to exist. Patience. So there's this whole premise of, like, oh, hey, the Emperor only exists- The Emperor only exists because the Orcs believe that he still lives. But, uh, there, there's a pretty heavy conspiracy that the Emperor has been dead for, like, a f like quite a long time. Uh, but because the orcs believe he is not dead, he is not dead. They're literally disposable because they're grown. And it's great! It's a wonderful thing! Hobo stealing shopping carts. I love Anything is possible. right here, my friend. <laughs> love it when hobos steal my shopping carts. What manner of country is this? Where is uh, the lavish sorry, dining, the sorry. festivals? I don't Place think we really have to bless. I think we should be okay. I'm listening. I say we use up our fireball here. <laughs> Check that! Oh, there's a lot more over there. Oh. Well, if only I had known. Five foot step to there and. Can't get harem, but oh, oh yeah, because it's a form. Have I played Pillars of Eternity? No, I believe it is on my playlist. I have played um, Tyranny, however. I played Tyranny, which is within the same like realm, but Pillars of Eternity is on my uh, is on my playlist. Now what I have played, hold on, I always have to tab out in order to remind myself what this game is called. I always forget it's um Let 
are you cold? Age of Decadence. Uh, if none of you have played Age of Decadence, I highly recommend it because it is such a good game. It's such a good game. Okay, we got two wolves. That's fine. And we mess up. That's yeah, whatever. What a waste! Oh my god, holy fuck! Oh, sorry, uh, I mean, I just assumed- It, it does minimize for me, uh, Quincy. It does. Uh, it's just, it doesn't go down on the stream. That, since I'm doing game capture, it captures whatever the game is doing rather than what my screams, uh, screen is doing. Uh, so yeah. It, it does minimize for me. Should probably use game capture. Maybe. It always kind of depends on the person. Like, if you're not really having any issues with what you're doing, I say don't change it. Oh, whoops. Okay. Um, what do I want to do? Eh, we could just take a shot. You deserved it. Missed. I don't remember the lore of Slanesh from Warhammer. Remind me. Lizard, these lizard folk are fucking brutal. Like these ones are not terrible, but the ones over there are fucking awesome. We can do it. And we can't hit again. Okay. I know Zinch, 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 Zinch. Zinch is one of my favorites. God damn you for using cleave. They go down! I may want to... I may actually want to uh, invest on this fight. They come as dust. Yes. Yes. Oh my god. So it looks like there's a little war going on. Play the bugle. Ah! Oh my god! Basically the literal Eldritch avatar of all stimuli of all living beings. Mm. I'm not gay, but $20 is $20 shirt. I mean, it's true. $20 is indeed $20. It's true. It's true. That person knows what that person knows exactly as they mean. Damn it. Can't grow a Miri just yet. Like that. Damn it. This won't kill me. Could be worse. And will be. Definitely will be. Nice. Good news, everyone. We're not dead. A clever ploy. Eleven damage. He's almost dead. You son of a bitch. Repent. Uh, I kind of want to just do one attack and hope that that works. I'll do it. Your life ends. Yay! No. It worked. Any 
last wishes. That eight damage. That's a lot of lizards. There is quite a few. That, that is for certain. Perhaps you should let the lizards battle. Nah. Some of them are showing up as neutral, so I'm gonna meta game and say that they aren't all bad. It's pretty good. Yeah, there's still a worthwhile reason to uh, grow a Miri. Oh no! Oh no! A dragon earlier today who had like 25 gold. I mean, come on, they're kobolds. I don't think you could truly be like, like, I don't think you can really be proud of a team member for destroying a fuckload of kobolds. Like, that's that's not an achievement, that's an expectation. about Tucker's kobolds? What about them? It's still an expectation. Also, what's up, Jeff? Also, I got you, Captain. <laughs> Respectable damage. 10 out of 10. This is where I step in. Good damage, I'll take it. This <laughs> entire corridor is on fire, firing only through arrow slits in the walls, forcing the group into kill boxes by collapsing tunnel corridors. Again, an expectation. If you see a kobold, and it's the same goes with goblins, if you see them, you are expected to kill them. Bring it. Yay. Ha. Primitives. What a waste. Try to make this swift. Hooray! We helped you. These masterwork? That's masterwork. Looks like the rest isn't. Upsetting. We did good here. We did good. Yeah. Yep. We did good. Let's leave. Good night, Jeff. I really wish there was a um, Malice on RPG. I guess the magic system is a bit soft for it. I. I honestly like. I'm I'm a much bigger fan of storytelling systems like like Blades in the Dark has really caught my charm after uh, playing in a uh, game for like a good year or something. Oh my God! Why can't I move my chair for What's in the way? I I don't ah fucking phone. Uh, I I think that uh, storytelling systems are a lot more fun than. Uh, than like 
combat systems or role-playing systems? I don't know. The entire Malazan universe was gamed over 10 years while Steven Erickson was on an archaeological dig with his friends. They wrote the books as slices of that world. Oh, that's really cool. Mm. Resting would be ah. nice, We will not travel to the tower yet. We are tired and we must rest. We need hunters. Plenty of hunters, yes. No. No seasoned wings. You don't deserve seasoned wings. Not yet. Hearty meals. You studied writing for such a long time put so much effort into your art, and they threw you out of the academy. Yet in spite of all this, you didn't give up. Why? God, that's awful, sir. Maybe because if I did give up, it would mean that they got what they wanted. Or no, maybe because life without writing would be so boring. Hmm. To be honest, I never really thought about it. Ing before you sleep is a terrible idea, Quincy. It will fuck up your circadian rhythm. Have a good night, Pyra. Take care of yourself. Pleasant dreams and all that. Take, you know, fucking, like, come back, please. <laughs> the bow's in good condition. It looks like it was used not long ago. Mm. It was used by us, in fact. Those are already gold. Mm. I'm positive I found something. Wow. Some cloth. Acid aura. What? Plus two DC bonus to acid spells. Oh. Hmm. Um. Mashed potatoes. Uh, yeah, no, with, with, um, you guys. Uh, which, by the way, like, I'm, I'm still gonna end up my usual time. Sorry for starting up late, but like I yeah. I I needed to sober up some before I started up the stream. I was I was horrendously fucked up. Um Yeah. What was I saying? Hey no, no. I'm sorry, what am I hearing? Oh, it's a thing that fucking hates me. Okay. Okay, it's just a war wisp. That's fine. What? Whoa. Uh. Ah, oh, level 11. Okay, okay. We're level 6. Yeah, I, uh, was expecting to get fucked up by lightning when I traveled here. You know, it was kind of on my list of things to not have when I got here. Probably, if I had to guess, it probably has damage resistance or if anything, uh, it is, it has a 31 dex, which means that it's AC is probably going to be like a 28, 26, 27, 28, somewhere in that range.
So we probably will not be able to hit. Can do. Go ahead and use this. This is a quick little buff for everyone. I wasn't expecting to get attacked so early on. As I wonder if it's worth powering up a Miri. Our Eidolon got fucked so fast. Our our Eidolon is like um Our Eidolon is like whenever uh fucking what's that character? Um Yow Yow no, hold on. Team no. Uh Who's that one character from uh, Dragon Ball Z that got expl- Yamcha! <laughs> yeah, Yamcha. <laughs> Fucking, uh, yeah, no. Our Eidolon is like Yamcha. Nah, Chiaotzu is more useful than Yamcha. Yamcha died so fucking quick, and that is basically our Eidolon. Our Eidolon is Yamcha. Let's hope. 18 to hit. It's it's a chance. It's a chance. At least we're doing damage, that's the good news. Okay, she only needs 16 to hit with the first attack now. This power up a mirror. Wait, hold on. Did you just heal the War Wisp? What? Oh, it's an aberration, not undead. That's interesting. They go down! 17. <laughs> Honest to God, Quincy, I'm not. I'm probably gonna leave this area and come back another time. damage that's nice become as dust he still got a roll 20s to hit okay 13 on first attack that is manageable we can absolutely hit that Oh, whoop. Okay, that's fine. Just move to there. Repent. Wow, really? It was Harem that got the kill. Really? Okay. Yeah, this is not a place I want to deal with right now. It's absolutely an instance of you want to come here completely prepared, and uh, I just showed up and got fucked. One of my, uh, two of my uh, people dropped. Well, hold on. Let's see. Yeah, no, we. Mm, yeah, we'd be better invested in other areas. Because our experience bars are uh, not that close. Well, hold on. There's a quest here, right? Hmm. 
truck thinks it's in drive when it's in park, so you couldn't start it. Ew, that sucks. Yeah, no. I, I say we come back later, because I don't want to go dealing with a whole bunch of instances of level 11 aberrations. God, Eisen from Bleach. My goodness, Quincy, you've brought back memories. Uh, which, by the way, Bleach, it's getting a reboot. Fucking One Piece never stopped. Naruto got a second ser- or, sorry, a third series. You know, called Boruto, and fucking uh, Bleach is getting a reboot. Sarah, are you surprised? I self checkout machine and I transferred the arm. Told me the ability scepter was jammed. No? Oh, okay. Let's go to the bandit camp where we won't get fucked up. Let's go to the ruined watchtower, I guess. I'm, I'm very curious as to what the reason for the Bleach reboot was, uh, was or is, I should say. Because it's happening. Because, like... Like... I don't know. Were, were people big fans of Bleach? I preferred Bleach over, like... Don't you need to visit that dryad alone? I do. I do. I don't know if I actually have to travel there alone. Yeah. You were a big fan? Okay. Yeah, because I, oh, I love Bleach a lot more than I liked Naruto. Be because they actually, like... Like, Naruto was one of those characters that just always had the upper hand. No matter what. Like, there was always a deus ex machina waiting as to how he ended up winning the day. Whereas with uh, Bleach, like, they at least established like yeah he trained for like eight months before he decided to uh you know go and save rukia or some shit like that grass has sprouted between the cobbles of the ancient road Nyash. the people's manga <laughs> I don't really have thoughts on that, Captain. It, it's an idea. It's really about the execution, the final product in that regard. The absurd power levels in the big bads, yeah. Like the most recent king of the Quincy's guy. Oh yeah, no. They, they also, like, like all shown in anime, I think that probably the worst storytellers are in Japan. And, you know, that's, that sounds shitty to say, but I think because of the expectations and tropes that traditionally make a good anime, other writers try to, you know, write similarly to those tropes and expectations and as such it causes stupid decisions you know like fucking uh ichigo's mom being a quincy it's like there wasn't a reason for that you didn't have to do that nothing was gained by doing it it's within the sum same realm as saying like oh yes naruto's mom is from the uchiha clan and they have really large amounts of of chakra it's like yeah but before that you just you know you just kind of passed it off as like he got all of his chakra from the nine tails like you we didn't gain anything from this and, and then they basically just went and that's why naruto is attracted to sakura because she reminds him of his mother they never met and it's like this doesn't add anything <laughs> You haven't changed the situation, you've just 
made it stupid. Agree, Quincy. At least with fucking, um, Dragon Ball Z, whenever they had a, uh, whenever they had an unbeatable enemy, the, the, they at least had, like, an inspiring moment of, like, like, Mr. Satan being like, You need to raise your powers and give it to, <laughs> and give it to Goku. Goku can, really needs your power right now for this spirit bomb. So raise your hands in the air and go, what? Squeal like a pig. Everyone raised their arms in the air and they squealed like pigs. And that's how the day was saved. Like, that's the kind of shit that, you know. Like, it, at least there was, like, a reason as to why they could win. Um. Naruto also got better. Naruto went like, oh yeah, now that Jiraiya's dead, like, you can, you know... I think the real issue with Naruto was they ended up getting way too over the top with connecting literally everything to Naruto. Nar Naruto wasn't just Jesus, he was ultra Jesus. Like, imagine if you read the book of Jesus, and it wasn't just, oh yeah, Jesus was born, and the three wise men were led to him. But now the three wise men are three ultimate warriors, and they're all uncles or grandfathers to Jesus. And then Jesus grew up to learn of this, and uh, ended up finding a trainer to become the ultimate warrior, and then proceed to kill the fucking Roman Lord. And that's why he had to be put down. That's anime for ya. That's your right, anime. In anime, there's a lot of cannibalism going on with writers using the same shit from other writers. Anime writers learn and write from other anime writers in fiction, not the real world. Yep. We've talked about this, Captain. Friend the trolls and kobolds. <laughs> Hiccup. Onwards. <laughs> Whoa! Who are you? Following the strange wolf, you climb to the top, uh, the top of the hill. There you see a black-skinned man. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, you could just say man. Come on. <laughs> no. Sitting under a spreading bush, the wolf runs up to him and sits near a whimpering. Get lost, dog. You're not needed here. Raises his arms as if to hit the wolf, but the animal doesn't even try to dodge still whining the man hand Goes down never finishing the blow the man staggers to his feet and you notice there's blood sucking the right side of his leather leggings He's very tall and rather lanky while he stands before you l Leaning on his bow his hurt leg trembles slightly and the right side of his leggings darkens against the fresh uh, Again with fresh bleeding Nevertheless, the man doesn't reveal his pain except for a strained jaw and a heavy gaze. Ekundayo. Ekundayo, my lord. Ekundayo. He'll leave as a worm. You're forced not to promote him. Damn, that sucks. I mean, Mer like, I went ahead and just made three more, uh, three mercs at the very beginning just so I had them. You know, they're, they're replacements if somehow a bunch of people die. But, you know, details. I'm Barbary Blackfoot. I'm the Baron of these lands. Nice to meet Take you. For decent ones. Are you decent? You're bleeding. We need to patch you up. Patched up already. This wound isn't the deadliest. You're not local, are you? The name gave it up. Or my skin color. Yes. Bred and nourished up our way from here. Why is your wolf whining? Mine. Yes, I am a friend. So what are you doing here? Sitting. Waiting. Hunting. 
I don't wish to pressure you, but please answer me. I may be able to help you. Eh, yeah, maybe. All right, if you don't want to talk, have it your way. Good hunting. <sighs> Sorry. Our knowing each other started incorrectly. We start again. Sure. The name's Ekon Dayo. Ekon fought this at once. Used to be a carpenter in the Bristle Hill village. Trolls attacked. Killed everyone but me. We'll show them that was a mistake. They all deserve death. Kagat, most of all. How'd you... Troll. He led them. How'd you get wounded? I've been hunting trolls until they have hunted back. The wound can't stop the hunting, just slows it down. Mm -hmm. Uh, how can a mere carpenter be chasing trolls effectively? You were not always a baron. Here, I was not always a carpenter. Nothing to lose anymore. Did you know the local trolls are not afraid of fire now? No, didn't. Fire arrows couldn't murder them. Now I know the reason. Had no chance here. Can see it now. Why are you shitting on this hill? Troll feet often followed this path. Can't hunt them anymore. That's why I wait. They will come here eventually. I'm hunting the troll show. Would you like to join our efforts? We'll mark on your map all the places where troll feet tread the land. Troll's lair must be somewhere nearby. Hmm. The spirit is strong, but the body falters. We'll follow you wherever you need, but this wound must be tended by healers in the capital. Don't want to burden. One more thing before we go. Troll feet tread this path often. Would like to stay here until they appear. Before we go, I'll, I'd like to ask you some questions. You have my respect, but the answers shall be postponed. Swear by Torag, the time for question will come after Kargard's last breath is drawn. One more lost soul, moaning, suffering from despair. Cast away the false light of the Torag's forge and see the verity in Grotus's moonlight. God damn it, Harem. Deal. This is a great place for an ambush. Let's wait. May we have a moment of respite? No! Hmm, do I take him? How you feeling for Friday? Not sure. Not sure. Currently, not great. Kind of pants. Do I want to trade someone out? Like, if I'm going to trade anyone out, it's probably going to be Lindsay for this dude. Aram is what you call a Debbie Downer. Yeah. I, yeah, I think I have everyone that I could trade off. Lindsay is... Enjoy Lindsay. Could trade off harem as well. But I like having comes with a pet. I too come with a pet. I guess. Guys, uh if I'm to trade anyone off, who would who who do you least enjoy? Cause if he's coming with a wolf companion. Then that could take up harem spot, so, you know, that would be a extra melee fighter. Well, he appears to be ranged based on this rapid shot. And he is what, a ranger? Jubilost or harem? I'd rather keep Jubilost because he has the acid bombs, and the acid bombs do some good stuff. Harry harem? We could trade off harem. My... Path at an end. Why are you so fucked up? What happened? Okay, take another ra level of ranger. Uh.
can make it a full attack with the bow your first attack fires two arrows if the attack hits both arrows hit apply precision Ooh, okay it's point blank master oh okay let's do mini shot something bothering me yell him up I will protect you come with any spells just long strider I don't care for Long Strider. We we have a bard for Long Strider. And actually, um Lindsay, I'm gonna have you trade off a bunch of your stuff to Oh right. You level up as Animal Companion. Yep, this is exactly as I remember it. Oh, that's the guy I just, I, yeah, I think we just level up perception. I remember having an ammo companion in my, uh, in one of the, uh, Pathfinder games I played. Point blank shot does not help you out at all. Weapon focus bite? Uh, maybe. Sure. We'll, we'll go weapon focus bite. Look at everything else. Just real fast. Um, it's always die hard. Because I take it if it dies, we can always just like revive it. So there really isn't uh, any party helping feats. Uh, not that I'm seeing. At least not this level. Because remember, this is only level 3, so there's not as many... Uh, actually, power attack wouldn't be a bad idea. Power attack's a pretty... Yeah, pr power attack's pretty solid. Let's do power attack. We at level 5, how do you roll Revan switching out blood curses each level and test them since he'll... Uh, let me check with the new rules for Tasha's because I know with Tasha's it's whenever you uh, I believe it's if you get to a new level in that class I'll double check if it says you when you reach a new level in that class then I'll probably rule it the same way it's only at an ASI mm. for like everything like it's not just hey as a sorcerer, you've reached a new level. You can trade things out. Is that as I? Not dex? No, I leveled up. I, I put a point in con. I put it in con to, like, round it out. Because, cause, you know, we just got rid of one of our frontliners, so I want someone that's a little bit more of a frontliner. So, you know, I, I'm just rounding off the health. It's going to be strength from this point on, but I wanted to round off the health. I, I guess it would uh, make... It, I guess uh, the blood curses are more along the lines of fighter, isn't it? So we'll probably make uh we'll probably go along the same lines of fighter. Tough skin, what does that do? What is this to nat armor? Okay. And now where is it?
Where is it? Okay, it's just base attack bonus four. Okay. Um, don't want to go with cleave. Imagine being in Baldur's Gate 2 and you dual classing means you lost all other class abilities until above that class and levels. Yeah? Uh, can the pupper take out flank? At a certain level, uh, because he should, uh... He should still be getting base attack bonus increases as he's leveling up. Yeah, he can't get it this level, but he should be able to get it... I think at... I, maybe next level? Maybe for level 6 he can get it? I don't know. Here's focus. What is this? We are wielding a two-handed weapon. Mmm, don't think that's gonna work for a wolf. Don't think that's gonna work. You know, I'm not sure what's telling me this, but I don't think that's gonna work. How are you cheese in this game? I'm playing unfair and can't beat this water elemental lull. Is it at the beginning, or are you still in the first chapter better than you in every way? Because if so, uh, level up. That's really all it comes down to. Yeah, first chapter, just level up. Like, if you are having a hard time against something, best thing you can do is just wait. Come back later when you're uh, stronger. Um, you know, there's, there's a rule that I always follow in MMOs called the five level rule, which, where basically within five levels of an enemy... Uh, this also goes with JRPGs because they tend to scale to level 100. As long as you're within five levels, you should be able to come back and beat it. Uh, with D&D, &D, it's closer to like two or three level rule. With Pathfinder, it's like a two or three level rule. When you're within that range, you should be okay. Uh, that's not to say every time, but like that's my general note. Just try and make sure that you're either two or three levels away from it. Or make sure that you have exactly the loadout you need to, like, beat this thing. Does it take effect after each individual attack or at the end of the round? Okay. Like, could a single character hit four times and intimidate with the first hit? Then trigger shatter defenses for the rest of the attack? I think, uh, I think it is only... I think you can only have one of the things on at a time. Yeah, I think you I think you could only have one of the things at a time. Not sure. Deceitful? No. Deft hands? Nah. Uh I think for this level I I think I'll just do weapon focus bites. Increases chances of hitting. Or just take Furious Focus. Oh, well, no. Furious Focus is only when it's a two-handed weapon or one-handed weapon with two hands. No. And that won't help. Um... Sunder Armor is an idea. Focus key. Reads when you damage an opponent with a power attack. Uh, well, yeah, I guess power attack takes place with every attack. So it would proc every single time. Yeah, I'll go with Sunder Armor. You know, it's a, it's a chance to reduce armor. And line Sundering is good, in my opinion. Yeah.
Devotion. What does Devotion do? Ammo companion gains plus four morale bonus on will saves against enchantment spells and effects. Okay, cool. I'll take it. Uh, what's the time? I could probably do this fight real fast and then end afterwards. Uh, let me actually... Let's cause... Oh, fatigue. Yeah, that makes sense. Guys, do I want to take the stuff that Lindsay has and put it onto uh, Ekundayo? Or uh, do we want to just, well, you know, maybe not all of the stuff, but maybe like the uh, the uh, Staglord stuff? All set bracers? Okay. These bracers? Oh yeah, I guess that makes sense, yeah. Boots of Elvenkind. We could probably leave those on. The Woodland Aegis can probably stay on Lindsay as well. Isn't Lindsay just bad overall? No, Lindsay is a buffer. L Lindsay is a bard, which basically means just buff the fuck out of your allies. And that's where Lindsay's usefulness comes from. She She's a support, basically. She is terrible for damage, but in terms of support, she can easily be the difference between you hitting and missing, like, every fucking attack for the rest of your life. You know... Can anyone use this wonder Bastard error? It doesn't look like it. Oh, that sucks. Because we don't have any wizards here. Which would mean that we would have to use uh, our use magic device skill. Which, uh... Good as everyone's use magic device. Plus eight. Plus nine. Nine. So I could use it. Bam. Done. She's not even terrible for damage if you have a decent crossbow. My Lindsay is hitting five times for like 20 or 30 damage a hit at level 16. It, it's a lot of work to get to that point though. But yeah, no, I I recognize Lindsay for the work that she is. Uh, you know, just need to get to the point where we get some awesome magical, some like overpowered magical shit. That's where we got to get. I got you, Cap. We'll follow the ruling for uh, fighters. She has maybe what is the best crossbow in the game. Mm, haven't gotten it yet. Valerie wouldn't be a better bard. I mean, she's a tank. You know, I build her like and a tank, anyways. Okay, so we'll go ahead and clear up the shit down here, and then we'll probably end the stream after that. Yes. Be on guard. We have triple time. Does triple time stack with long strider? I'm going to check. It's not like there's really a loss if we go ahead and do this. Confide in me. Just letting the ink dry. I'll make my own legend. Call to them. 
Hmm. That sounds good. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't look like long straight iron triple time stack. Oh, which makes sense. It's an enhancement bonus, right? Well, no, it... Uh, hmm. This one just says that it increases the... This one doesn't state that it's an enhancement bonus, which is why I'm confused on that one. But okay, you know, I'm not going to complain about it. It is what it is. You know, rulings is rulings. And we could probably go ahead and put this heroism into you as well. Follow me. Alright. We have another party member. We should probably, um... Uh, Jubilos, I guess, get there. And, uh, Bamo! Or I guess Jubilos, like, in the middle? Sure. It is done! Perfect. Buff phase, the good old buff phase. Valerie, pretty straight, uh, forward dirge bard. Take off your armor, buff your, uh, buff. Put back armor, 25%. NSF and mithril. Heavy is not terrible if you need to replace the mirror image in combat. Some more thing happen. I'm seeing him playing uh, also with Quake. I mean, that that's that that's still basically a tank with just like bard aspects. Uh, uh, better. Like that's not so much a bard as it is just a fighter with bard spells. That would be my argument. Bards are basically meant to just be a support class that buff. You know, at least most of the classes. There's a few that are kind of outliers, but, you know, details. You know, it's... Hi. How's it going? You, um, you got a bone there? You doing okay? Okay, bye. Yeah, but, you know, um... That is an awesome item, Quincy. Uh, that was Wiggle Zara. Well, let's uh, hit him. Quick save, quick save, quick save, quick, quick, quick save. I wrote it like I saw it. Done. Inspire with courage. Get him. Moment of respite. We got the thing off. 32 damage, beautiful. Ah, good, you dead. Right, we're in surprise round, so we don't have our things yet. That's fine. Sands of time. Gotcha, Cap. Fireball won't do shit! I say we just go ahead and close in a bit with uh, Tristan for right now. Acid Vial, uh, I guess on the one that's already damaged. Oh, uh, well. Next turn. <laughs> uh, Summon bumps to wolves. Two wolves. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Ooh, 17 damage. That is delicious. Good job, buddy. Good, good job. Go ahead and move you over there. Just gonna move Lindsay up for right now. Okay. Three attacks. Beautiful. Mmm. Mmm. That damage. <laughs> well, we try. That'll do. Yeah, we did it. A 
ridiculous ring. Yeah, let's take a look at that. What the fuck? Well, it's worth almost 100,000 gold, so I think that's pretty, uh... Yeah, I think that's about right. I can't cost you like that. Damn it. Or is this Sunder Armor? We don't need a Sunder Armor. Oh, we can rush him? Okay. If we apparently can, then sure. Bring it! Ooh, that good old fashioned damage. And with all the good stuff. Down, and down. Okay. Now we just gotta hit them with uh, one of the things that kills so them. Let's come to this. Which is acid. Which Jubilost has. This spell has other uses. I'm pretty sure we just have a belt with. Uh, yeah, we just got some acid flasks. We should just use those. This spell has other uses. We did it. <laughs> and if we could just hit them with this. Yay! Guys, we did it! Someone's not bones gleam in the bushes. Guys, I think we got a pretty solid team. Pretty solid. Pretty solid. All right, fatigue, that was the issue. Okay, cool. Well, I think I'm going to go ahead and save here. I've been going for about my three hours. You know, I started up late. Um, yeah, meh. I will Maybe be back on tomorrow, to though. Respite? Uh, I had to call off yesterday. I'll be back on tomorrow, though. Uh, need to sober up today, which is why I was so late. Uh, I'll miss you, Duke. I'll miss you all too. I I, I enjoy the streams. Uh, enjoy the streams. Here, uh, we had a. Redemption to raid Oseroy Code. Whom are playing a way out. So, let's go ahead and hit up Oseroy Code. I don't know anything about a way out. Oh, wait. No, I do. I do. It's a good game. It's a pretty solid game. Uh, so, yeah. You all stay safe. Remember, do not text and drive. Do not drink and drive. 10 2 people. 10 and 2. And happy days and sunshine hey, if you are hanging to bed, pleasant dreams, all of that. Uh, I hope to see you all tomorrow for more uh, Pathfinder Kingmaker. You know, I don't know a way out. Yeah, and again, sorry that today was a bit shorter than normal. You know, it started up late, but ending at eh, about 30 minutes past my normal time. I think that makes up for it, just a little. Uh, yeah, I'll see you all then. Until then, take care of yourselves. Bye-bye, everyone.